What's going on guys? It's your boy CBS and we are back and first off I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers and old subscribers alike. I appreciate all the support I get so if you haven't subscribed already go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I promise I won't let you down and leave a like on the video because these next five videos are going to take a lot of work and I hope you guys enjoy. So with that being said I'm going to be covering everything that I have on the House of Wolves. So uh, recently there was a Reddit post that came out and there was a guy up there that pretty much compiled all the information there was to know about the House of Wolves and a lot of it is some fantastic information. So what you're going to see on the screen right now is a, a pictorial chart that he put together pretty much mapping out everything on the House of Wolves DLC. And I'm going to split it up into a few videos. I'm going to split it up to an exotics video, I'm going to split it up to raid gear video, raid weapons video. And then all the new vendor gear and ships as well as the new activity as far as the arena and all the other stuff so the, th the first thing i'm going to zoom in on is the exotics page and as you see right here they have i get what is that one two three four five six seven eight nine nine new exotic pieces of gear and two brand new exotic weapons now i'm unsure if any of these are playstation exclusive or not i doubt they will be because i'm pretty sure playstation has already got all the exclusives they're going to get but I could be wrong, so don't hold me to that. So before I go any further, everything that I'm talking about, all the links, all the important links will be below. So if you have any questions on anything that I'm talking about for any piece of gear, it will all be below in the description right below that like button. So make sure you smash it below. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into covering this exotic gear. And the first thing that pops up is the external warrior and its unique perk is provides unstoppable for a fits of havoc. So that's obviously going to be a arc specific or stri titan striker specific helmet and to be honest but out of all the pictures on the screen i think the titan helmet that titan helmet looks the coolest out of all of them so the next one is going to be the ram helmet and that ram helmet unique perk is the ram arises activating radiance from death disorients nearby enemies so it seems like something along the lines of when you go super with your solar It'll kind of send off a wave which causes disorientation to surrounding enemies and players, which is cool. I think that's kind of uh, unique. And the next one is Exotech Angel Hunter and built from a Golden Age combatant pilot sensorism. Angel Hunter is a unique perk, so it significantly increases your weapon's accuracy for a short time after jumping. So that's cool. I guess you're going to gain accuracy for the more you jump and i've seen if you want if you ever play pvp you see hunters they jump around like little monkeys all over the map so that's definitely going to be a pvp specific helmet if, if you ask me so that'll be good uh remember everything i'm talking about is going to be in the link below so if you have any questions or you want to read it for yourself about that one particular piece of gear the link directly to that piece of gear will be in the description below so go ahead and follow that uh moving on to the to the um arms and chest pieces the acd zero or slash zero feedback fence is a titan specific glove um, its unique perk is going to be taking damage from melee deals damage in an area around it so this could be great for the raid or for the current raid which is the dark below dlc but we'll see how that how useful that will be for the uh, new raid. We obviously we don't know much about it other than it's called the arena. So, um, but dealing damage when you get hit is uh, definitely useful, especially for those encounters on PvP when you and your you and a guy are going heads to head and you hit him, you know, trying to kill him, he hits you. Hopefully, if he does kill you, that explosion damage could kill him as well. So, moving on to the purifier robe, uh, its unique perk is burn brighter, and enemies killed by ignite effects explode so essentially if you use any type of solar weapons or i guess solar abilities they'll explode so that's cool it's kind of like the uh, icebreaker in a sense as far as the explosion effect so uh the next one is ikahika's hooks which is hunter specific gauntlets or gloves and its unique perk is going to be touch of venom hitting enemy with the melee attack while invisible deals additional damage over time so obviously it's going to leave something now, in my mind, I see it something along the lines of Marker Devour, kind of like the the Thorn Pistol. So that'll be cool. I like, that. you know, the gloves are starting to kind of become my favorite exotic class as far as armor because they always have something cool and unique that's definitely useful for a specific type of encounter. So make sure you read up on the stuff that you're using because it might not be suitable for your play style. 
Uh, moving on to the Peregrine Greaves or Titan Boots. Its unique perk is going to be shoulder charge deals damage when activated in air. So, aka flying knee attack will have more damage. And uh, obviously, this is going to be another uh, arc specific piece of exotic armor for the Titan. Uh, I'm finding myself to lean more and more towards the Titan. I have all three characters. All three of my characters are level 32. And. My Titan is by far my favorite. He's the fastest, he's the strongest, he's the most, I don't know, he just seems the most agile in every situation and it, it's definitely useful to use him. So that could be fun to use in PvP because if you haven't noticed lately, a lot of people have been running around and shoulder charging only and that is annoying as hell, but I'll be honest, it's fun as shit. <laughs> uh, moving on, the next one is going to be Nothing Manacles, which are Warlock specific gloves or gauntlets and its unique perk is going to be the Cold Equation. Kills with void light abilities grant a shield. So, I mean, it's going to be similar to the flame shield you get when you melee as a warlock solar. So, this could be a good effect because I always wish that when I melee with my, my void that I got a shield. So, this, I guess, will be essentially giving me that perk right there. So, and then the last piece of exotic gear is the remarkable bones. And its unique perk is, <coughs> excuse me, not bound by law. Upgrades double jump with an additional jump. So Me and my friends have a debate between which is better double jump or triple jump when it comes to being a hunter Me personally, I like to double jump and jump higher and My friends prefer triple jump when they like to do that double tap. I Like double jump because I feel like I can go higher and they like it because of the mobility or whatever So with that being said if I can use double jump with the height I get with that and I get an additional jump, God knows how high I'll be able to get. Especially with, you know, a lot of times Titans and Warlocks can get places that Hunters cannot. So this could definitely even the playing field. Even So if I were to get these, even if I wasn't going to use them on a regular basis, I'd use them just for, like, jumps, I guess, as T. Martin would say, jumps and spots or whatever you want to call it. So that would be a good piece of gear to have for... Uh, especially for the Vows to Arc cheese. If you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link for that one in the description below. But you can get the chandelier and it's almost impossible with the Titan. But if you can do it, it's just hard. So that will make that one easy. So, And to round out this video, the last two pieces of exotic gear, or excuse me, exotic weapons for the House of Wolves DLC is going to be the 347 Besta Dynasty. And this says it's read, a Reef Scout hunts for years fighting piracy and ancient traps to crack one cache and claim the weapons within. And his unique perk is going to be Goliath and David. Goliath's perk, non-precision kills, temporarily increase armor stats for 15 seconds. And David's unique perk, precision kills, temporarily increase agility stats for 15 seconds. So it's going to make you stronger when you don't get precision kills, and it's going to make you faster when you do. So that's pretty. that sounds pretty beast. And it's a scout rifle. That's definitely going to be a weapon that's in my arsenal. Whatever I have to do to get that, hopefully, you know, it's probably going to sound terrible, but hopefully Zer does not sell it because I want it to be unique. And that, see, that sounds beast. I am a huge scout rifle fan, so I'm down with that one. So, and the last piece of exotic gear you can get from the House of Wolves DLC is going to be the Lord of Wolves shotgun. Now, I'm not the biggest shotgun fan, but there are a ton of users out there that are, so... Its unique perk is going to be called Devil's Touch. Stacking rapid hits has the chance to set your target on fire. So, in PvP, there's a lot of high rate of fire, low impact shotguns, which probably sounds stupid, but as an example, it'd be like the Invective shotgun. It shoots rapidly, it doesn't really hit that hard, but you know, if you're the closer you are, the harder it's going to hit. So that'll be good, setting them on fire. So you essentially hit them twice from a distance, hide, and let them burn to death. So that'll be great for PvP. And it's un obviously we won't know how it is in PvP until Planet Destiny does their review. So with that being said, I pretty much covered everything as far as exotics go. Stay tuned for the next video when I cover all of the raid gear and my thoughts on that. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below or tweet them at me. All applicable links will be below. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I really appreciate it. As always, be safe, guys, and I will catch you on the next one. Peace. I got him. Fucking coward, dude. He crouched, went in biz just to do that. That is a bitch move right there. Heavy, I'm nowhere near. You want to get it, though? I just hit you three times. That's so. This dude, killer prom or whatever, he's got to have some fucking.
We got hats, cuz. Three golden guns. Three golden gun shots to kill you. Oh, I think you're heavy. You don't have heavy. Tell you what, this fucking dude with this, this invisible fucking blade dancer is a coward, though. Ah, <laughs> 73, 100 points. God damn, what I do? Well, they're doing good. Like, the flow of the game didn't make me feel like I was doing good, though. What the hell? I guess we'll see. It was a close game, though. 35 kills, my dude, with a 5 0. Let's go. And I still get away with some blue garbage. Let's see how, what else I did. Only three caps, that didn't really help there. I definitely did some work in the kill department. What up? <laughs>